Hey guys, welcome to Daddy Dice Crafty Corner. Today, as a design team member of Quality Crafts, I'm going to be sharing with you a card that I made with the Progressive Digi Challenge image for the month of February. He's called Love Bug and he is adorable. So head on over and pick up your Digi for $1.99, play along with the challenge, and then you get next month's Digi for free. Okay, so I'm starting out with a white card base and a yellow piece of um, designer paper that has little tiny hearts on it. Now, I'm going to be using the technique where you cut your word out of the front of the card and put a background behind it. So I have a whole bunch of letters out there. I'm actually going to be spelling out the word love bug. So I'm just placing my designer paper on the card, making sure I get it straight. Oh, girls. And then I'm going to line up my letters that spell out love bug on my grid mat on my desk so that I can assure that they're kind of straight and where I want them. So see how I did that? Then I'm going to attach a piece of masking tape to the back so that I can pick them up and transfer them over to my card exactly the way I want them. This is an ingenious little idea for lining things up on your card. Just make sure that you're super, super careful when you peel it off because sometimes when you run the tape through your die cutting machine, it can pull, you know, it can adhere very well <laughs> and you can pull the paper off of your card. So just as long as you're really careful, you're not going to have a problem. Let's go die cut. Now, as you can see, I'm just pulling it off very, very gently. And then I'm, when I get it all pulled off, I'm going to be saving the little bits to the B and the L, uh, the B and the O, so that I can place them back in the middle at the end. All right. So let's go ahead and get the bug off. And you can see I'm just gently pulling it up. And I'm even holding down the paper at times just to make sure that I've got a grip on what's coming apart as I pull that tape off the paper. That's where you can, that's where this whole thing can go awry, is if you're not careful with the tape, you could have to start over again. So there we go. I've got my little pieces to the B, my little piece to the O. We're going to set that aside, and then we're going to start coloring a panel for the inside of our card to be behind. This is also a great technique if you wanted to put a shaker back there. Just add your foam tape, a piece of acetate. Throw, you, throw your little gems or stones or sequins, whatever you're going to use back there, and it would make an absolutely great shaker card. I'm just going to be using a background for now, using Distress Oxide ink. So the colors that I've chosen are Broken China, Abandoned Coral, and Twisted Citron. Okay, and I'm going to be just doing a really simple blended technique on a piece of Nina solar white cardstock I believe and I'm going to be starting with the abandoned coral and then I'll be moving on to broken china and then I'll use the twisted citron at the end now the reason I chose these colors is because I wanted to do my little love bug in kind of that abandoned coral color that's going to be the color of my love bug and um, I wanted something bright and very very cheery um, so I just chose some very bright colors. I wanted them to peek through the love bug on the front of the card. And um, yeah, I'm just going to blend it together and then I'm going to spritz it with some water. And then, as if that's not enough, I'm also going to spritz it with some Heidi Swap um, Color Shine. And then I also flick it with some white paint. Um, I just wanted it to have a lot of character behind there since I wasn't doing a shaker. So I've got everything blended and now I'm going to go ahead and spray it. And once I spray it with the water and wipe it down and put my color shine on there, then I'm just going to let it dry <clears throat> naturally and walk away from it for a couple of minutes. And then we'll go on from there. And here's how it turned out. Super cool little background. I would love to do this again and use it alone without being covered up by letters. You know what I'm saying? Super, super cute. All right, so now let's get on to showing you that adorable little love bug. I've already colored him up 
and I used the colors B00, B01, B000, and then I used R20, R22, and R21 to color him up. And I used glossy accents on the wings and the eyes, but at the end I'm going to put some um, silly eyes on him as well just to give him a little more character. So I have attached it to the back of the card and I've already done the inside layer of my card as well. So now we need to get the Z, the um, letter, the O middle section added back in and then the B sections added back in. And I did not glue down the middle of my panel when I attached the card. So my little white section of the card and the yellow section of the card came apart. So I'm having to glue those together and then I'm gluing them on the card. And then there were a few areas that I had to glue down, um, like, you know, that were loose on the G or the V, little places like that where, I, cause I didn't glue that middle section down. So I had to go back in and just kind of lay it all down on there. So that's what I'm doing here. And then it goes pretty quick after this. So I'm just making sure that all the little letter parts are adhered so they're not going to be fraying up or curling up when I actually send this card down. Or send this card out, I mean. All right, so we're almost ready. So I decided to put a few embellishments on this card as well. There's a little image. I fussy cut him out. He's going to go up there on the very top. Isn't he adorable, guys? Oh my goodness, he's so stinking cute. So, so, so cute. He's going to be sitting on the top of the card, somewhere around the L or the O, somewhere up in there. And then I've picked out a few buttons from my button stash that kind of look like bug splats. I added a little piece of um, embroidery floss to the middle of them and tied them off in the back. And I'm going to be putting those on the bottom corner of the card and that is going to complete this card. It is so vibrant, so cute, so much fun and I absolutely love these digital images. So let me tell you a little bit about Koality Crafts um, blog and Facebook page. Like I said, they're doing a progressive digi challenge every month. So if you purchase the digital image, and I will leave a link below, if you purchase a digital image and you create something with it, post it on the blog, post it on your social media, do, do whatever you want with it, you know, but you've got to post it on the blog and be part of this challenge that we're doing every month. And then the following month, the next month, so for the month of March, you'll get the next digital image for free. And we're going to continue that all year. This is going to be so much fun. And what what is also so fun about it is we're all doing the same image, but all of our projects, because they're not all cards, all of our projects are so different. And it's so much fun to see what everybody else does and just to be part of the Quality Craft community. It is a great community to be a part of. Super supportive ladies over there. And you're going to have a lot of fun just being part of that community. So go on over to Facebook and join there and then hop on over to the blog and post your your project using this cute little love bug and I'll leave the information below as well as a link to the blog and the website and a link for this little bug as well like I said he's only a dollar ninety nine and then next month you'll get one for free that is super fun so in January we did the um, we did the same thing so this is going to be ongoing and um, yeah what do you guys think let's get ready for the close-up isn't he adorable? Oh, and I love, love, love the colors of this card. Absolutely love them. So I'll place a final photo at the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You'll get all the links in the below section. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.